My name is Emmanuel Intiri and I am the assistant director for the Coastal Sustainable Landscapes Project. This project is implemented by the U.S. Forest Service International Programs and is funded by the United States Agency for International Development. We are working in the six coastal districts of the Western Region in Ghana and our whole objective or goal is to achieve low emission development within these areas through the people implementing sustainable natural resources management. In other words, as they implement their farming, as they implement all their livelihood opportunities, we are encouraging them to ensure that we are reducing uh, a lot of the emission, carbon emission that we are doing, while also ensuring that we enhance the productivity of all that we need to do. One pillar that we have adopted is to ensure that people are well educated on the do's and the don'ts that all have contributed and led us up to this stage that we are in. We are all aware of some activities such as Galamse, which people think that they, they, we, they don't have job opportunities and that's how they want to gain their livelihood. But at the end of the day, we are all suffering. It's a similar thing that has gone on in the kind of farming that we do. We are adopting all kinds of practices. We are pumping a lot of chemicals. We are, you know, producing the produce that we even have from our agriculture. is not too wholesome for human consumption. And so we are helping them to do this. But one of the things that we are doing is to do a lot of communication about practices also, if people know that if I do this, the result is this, then it's likely to influence them. They don't need to be policed and forced to do, but they, within themselves, will know that, yes, these are things that we should not do. And that's why we take advantage of um, uh, global events such as the World Environment Day, such as the World Forest Day, and tell people a lot about you know, what we can all do together to ensure that we have sustainable development in our areas. Since the inception of the project, we have taken advantage of all World Environment Days that happen on the 5th of June every year. And we, we are trying to let the people understand why we all have to put all our efforts together and make sure that our env environment is safe, to ensure that our livelihood goes on, to ensure that our living actually is not impeded, is not put in any bad shape that can affect all of us. And this is what has brought us here today. Let me also say the fact that the last two World Environment Days have occurred in various districts. And this is the third district where we are having this, this today. And this is Cape Trey Point. It's a small community and we still think that they are important to us. They must also be aware of what is going on globally. You see the kind of road that is leading to this place. They are not having a lot of interaction with a lot of people, with a lot of, they don't have uh, the uh, internet connectivity and all that, but such events all come together to ensure that they also are abreast with, with what is going on globally. Thank you.